Oat Bakers, vanilla ice cream, either store-bought or homemade, is a fantastic building block to make so many big and bold desserts. Now, with a freezer full of vanilla ice cream and a little bit of creativity, I am gonna show you how you can take that plain old flavor and turn it into five-star ice cream sundaes. As always, the recipe can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com and make sure you head over to my website because I've got tons of recipes over there. Okay, let's get started with our first step. I'm very excited about this first flavor. We're going to make a lemon meringue pie sundae. So the first thing we're going to do is flavor our plain ice cream and just make it a really complimentary flavor to the rest of our sundae. So into a medium sized bowl, I'm going to add in some softened vanilla ice cream. Now into this, I'm going to add in some lemon curd. And then all you want to do is just mix it really well together. Now this is my recipe for homemade lemon curd. I also have one that you can make in the microwave and that's really good. Or you can use store-bought, it's totally up to you. So all our lemon curd is mixed in. I like to see a few streaks in there just to give it a little bit of a different look. Perfect. So now what we want to do is put it into our ice cream container. I'm gonna put a link on my website of where you can buy these on Amazon. They're really inexpensive and I absolutely love them. Just go ahead and scoop in your ice cream. I already know this is gonna be a gorgeous ice cream. A little bit of the bitterness from the curd and the creaminess from the ice cream. It's going to be fantastic. So now pop on your lid. And all you want to do is pop this guy into the freezer. It'll need around six hours, I'd say, or preferably overnight so it can get nice and hard. So it's been a few hours, our ice cream is frozen. It looks fantastic. So now we can assemble our sundae. So here I have my sundae glass. Now into the bottom of my sundae, I'm going to add in some of my lemon curd. This is the same lemon curd that we used in our ice cream. Our next layer is two generous scoops of our lemon curd ice cream. Because this is lemon meringue pie, we have to have crust in there. So here is a big scoop of cookies. These are my homemade graham crackers, but you can use store-bought. So now our next layer, of course, has got to be meringue. So this is the meringue that I made in my lemon meringue pie cheesecake. It's really easy to make and it is really delicious. It's gonna work really well in this recipe. So just go ahead and pipe a layer of this on top of your cookies. As you can see, we're almost to the top, but I'm gonna add another layer of each. I know by looking at it, you probably think I can't fit anything else on there, but I can and I will. So I'm gonna add a little bit more meringue on top. Gorgeous. And what I'm gonna do is torch the meringue to make it look really beautiful. If you don't have a torch, don't worry about it. You can just leave it plain. Fantastic. Check that out. If that's not a sundae, I don't know what is. So now the thing about a sundae is that it has to be enjoyed straight away. And because I'm the only one around here, I'm gonna dig in. Oh my gosh. Make sure when you dig in, you get all of the layers. Oh my gosh. The lemon curd, lemon curd ice cream is out of this world. You could almost eat it by itself. But then with the cookies, the meringue, the more extra lemon curd, this is heaven in a sundae glass without a doubt. So now if that first flavor didn't blow your mind, our next one is equally as exciting. It's a strawberry shortcake sundae. So we're gonna start out by making one of the components for this sundae, which is a strawberry compote. So in a heavy bottom saucepan over medium heat, add in your strawberries and sugar. So now what you want to do is allow this mix to simmer for around seven to 10 minutes until the strawberries are cooked. Okay, so this is looking good. The strawberries have kind of broken down and it's gotten nice and syrupy. So I'm just gonna turn it off the heat and let it cool down completely before we add it into our ice cream. Our strawberries are cooled down, so let's make our ice cream for this sundae. Into a medium sized bowl, we're going to add in our vanilla ice cream. And then into this, we're going to add in some of our strawberry compote. And then followed with a few crushed up cookies. You can use any kind of plain cookie that you like. And now all you want to do is just mix these ingredients together. With the addition of cookies in this ice cream, you get really lovely flavor and texture. And just the combination of the two of them reminds you of strawberry shortcake. Okay, lovely, it's all mixed up. Now we're gonna go into our ice cream tub. Just like before, all the way to the top. And then into the freezer for a minimum of six hours. So it's been a few hours, our strawberry ice cream is ready. It looks gorgeous, what a lovely color. So here I have my sundae glass ready to go, and now we're gonna to start to build. So into the bottom of your glass, add a few tablespoons of your strawberry compote. So next we're gonna add in two scoops of our strawberry shortcake ice cream. 
followed by a layer of cookies. These are the same cookies that we used in the ice cream. And then my best friend, whipped cream. We're gonna do a lovely big swirl of whipped cream on the top. Gorgeous. And then we're just gonna build all the layers again. Just do a little bit of each because we're pretty much to the top. These sundaes just keep on looking more and more impressive. I'm just gonna finish this guy off with a lovely fresh strawberry on top. Boop. <gasps> this looks amazing. I love desserts that have so many different layers. Now, just before the ice cream melts, I'm going to dig in. Oh my gosh. Not only does it have strawberry shortcake, it has a strawberries and cream thing going on, which is sweet, it's creamy. And just like I said, you can even enjoy these ice creams by yourselves. Oh, why would you? So usually I save the best for last, but I'm gonna let you be the judge of that because our next flavor is a banoffee pie sundae. So now the ice cream for this recipe is equally as special because it's gonna be a banana ice cream, but not just regular banana ice cream, it is caramelized banana ice cream. So we're gonna start out in a nice heavy bottom pan. So over a medium low heat, we're going to add in our butter. Okay, this is looking good. Now we're going to add in our sugar. Now what we're doing here is creating kind of a caramel in the saucepan to cook our bananas in. So as it starts to turn color and bubble, you can kind of smell it, smell the caramel flavor, we're going to add in our sliced banana. You wanna cut your bananas about half of an inch thick, that should be good enough. So on this first side, you want to cook them for around three to four minutes, let them get lovely and brown, and then you're gonna turn them over. If you feel like at any point your pan is getting too hot, then turn it down, you don't want it to smoke. Okay, I'm delighted with how my bananas look, they smell amazing, I'm just gonna push them over to the side and let them cool down. Our bananas are cool, so let's make our ice cream. Into a medium-sized bowl, we'll go ahead and add in our vanilla. You probably saw that one coming. And then add in your caramelized bananas. And then with a fork, go ahead and just mix it all together and really break down those bananas so you get banana the whole way throughout. You know, the more caramel flavor you get in the pan on your bananas, the more flavor your ice cream will have. So just remember that. Okay, lovely, I'm seeing some chunks. I'm seeing some little bits. I'm seeing texture, this is what I want. So go ahead, get your tub, and pour it right in. Fantastic, it's pretty crazy how that makes caramelized ice cream. Pop this into the freezer for a minimum of six hours. So here we've got our lovely caramelized banana ice cream ready to go, it looks fantastic. So first things first, we need our sauce. Here we have gorgeous caramel sauce, and I have a recipe on my website for this. Do a generous spoonful into the bottom of your glass. On top of our sauce goes two scoops of our lovely ice cream. Now banoffee pie has a cookie base, so we're gonna go ahead and scoop some cookies on top of our ice cream. Be generous with your cookies. The base is a very important part of a pie. Next, I have some extra caramelized bananas to add on top of the cookies. A few more in there will just add a whole other layer of dimension and bananas to this ice cream. And then on top of that, some whipped cream. Gorgeous. Now I know it looks like we're almost to the top, but we're gonna go again with all those lovely layers. To finish this off, I'm just gonna do some more whipped cream, a little drizzle of caramel sauce, because why not, we've come this far. And then I'm just gonna lay on two caramelized bananas. This looks gorgeous. You can tell there's a lot of rich stuff going on in there. Oh my gosh. All that's left for me to do is taste. Oh yeah. Number one, I'm a huge caramelized banana fan. You've got the cookies in there, you've got caramelized bananas. You've got this amazing ice cream that we made in no time at all. Really simple. And the cream. We already know that bananas and caramel are best friends. And this just takes that to a whole other level. So from plain vanilla ice cream, you too can make three big and bold ice cream sundaes. The recipes can be found on my website. I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.